Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, my name is Blades and today I have a Team Fortress 2 tutorial for you guys and this is going to be a tutorial on how to install HUDs or various other mods in Team Fortress 2 as of 2013. Uh, a couple months back they changed the way they laid out the Team Fortress 2 folder. So I'll go ahead and show you that now. So you still want to go to your program files x86 if you have a 64-bit uh, steam and steam apps now normally you would have gone into your name uh, but this folder is now empty there's nothing in it and I've tried I used I tried like when I was trying to figure this out I tried um, basically mimicking the folders and putting them in here and that obviously did nothing uh, so this time, instead of going into your name, go to common, okay, and then find your game, Team Fortress 2, TF like normal, and then I tried again, okay, well, let me try putting it in here, that still doesn't work, so now you have to go to, there. they added a folder called custom, and in here, what you have to do is they have a readme file that tells you how to do it, uh, it's not that clear, but I'll try and explain it, basically, you have to create a subfolder in here the name of the subfolder does not matter uh, at all so it could be new folder or whatever um, although really I'd probably name it what you want it to be you know so this is my un right this would be um, my HUD right now um, and this is uh, I'm making a frag video right now um, so I have no fog for the replay um, so what you want to do and then after you've created your new folder like I said again it doesn't matter what it's called you want to take now um, put this in there and you're done that's it's that simple put the stuff that's originally in um, put the resources and scripts and stuff into the subfolder like I said the subfolder name doesn't matter see right here I have the HUD already installed, so it's now redundant, so I'm just going to delete this. But um, put all your things in here. And then, rather than having to go here and like delete your resources and your script folders entirely and then have it re-download them, all you do is delete the one folder, and you're good to go. Or like me, I made um, a subfolder called unused, and in the subfolder, I put... You know certain stuff that I do use on occasion like I put a different HUD and so then all you would have to do is right click this cut and then paste it here and then cut and paste that there and you'd have a totally different HUD um, so hopefully this helps uh, anyone that needs help if you um, oh one more thing yeah if you're doing scripts and stuff you have to Basically what this does um, is the subfolder uh, basically spoofs to be the directory of TF, if that makes sense. So um, once you're in your specific subfolder that you want to put whatever mod you're doing, uh, once you're in there, you have to have you know the same stuff you normally would. So if you're putting a script, um, you would do... CFG and then within your CFG you would um, do like auto exe dot CFG that's still a text file um, but you know you get the basic gist so that's how you do it now uh, it works a lot better and it's a lot easier because you can just uh, it's super easy to swap hubs. You don't have to download them, delete, and then reinstall and all that. You just have to move folders around. And it's super, super, super easy. Um, so hopefully this helped anyone out. Uh, if you guys want to know, like, I did a video a while back on scripts. So you, that still works. Um, the script still works. You just have to change the way you install the script. Um, along with the HUDs. They're all the same. They're super easy. You just download it and you get your resources and script files and you just pop them into a subfolder under custom. So one last time, it's uh, your C drive, program files, x86 if you're 64-bit, just regular if you're 32-bit, Steam, Steam apps, common, Team Fortress 2, TF, custom, 
and then put a subfolder with whatever name you want, and then the resources, script files, and CFG, or whatever you wanted to mod. Okay? Uh, so hopefully that helps anyone out who needs help. Uh, we will see you all very soon. I've got another gameplay coming out pretty quick, so talk to you guys in a few.